Just a few moments ago, you heard more of my exclusive interview with Mark Ace, his death row confession, as he is now less than 24 hours away from being put to death by lethal injection at Florida State Prison. The family of one of the men Ace was convicted of murdering, Robert Booker, says this tragedy is inspiring a new beginning in multiple ways for them. Yesterday at this time, we brought you Francesca Amaker's interview with Booker's brother. Following that interview, one of Robert Booker's long-lost sons reached out to News for Jackson in hopes of meeting his father's family for the first time. Francesca Amaker has his story. It was that evening my mom came in and told us, you know, your dad got um, shot and killed. This is the spot where an 11-year-old Terrence Maddox's life changed forever. 31 years ago, when he and his siblings were told his father, Robert Lee Booker, and another man were killed by a white man just because. Do you foster hate for Mark Ace? No, I don't. I don't hate him. I don't hate him all because he had power. If you're still hating this man after 30 years, he's still controlling you. He's still controlling your feelings, your emotions. So he Have you missed out? On th did he take things from you? Yes, he did. He took a father from me, you know. Um, just learning to be that man coming up. For 30 years, his family has kept this newspaper clipping. What's this clipping of? This clipping is actually the clipping from um, 1987. A clipping that has faded. And I cherished it ever since. But has a memory that has not. One life in and another begins. Something closes and something opens. And for all this to come together, just 48 hours before Mark A. say the man convicted of killing Maddox's father was set to be put to death, he saw my interview with his brother Frank. He reached out in hopes to be reunited with his father's family. Like I say, um, I never met my dad's side of the family. And this a closure. How are you feeling? Um, excited, a little nervous. A little nervous? Yes, ma'am. You ready to meet your father's brother and sister? Yes, ma'am, definitely. Yeah. I have someone I'd like to meet. <laughs> How you doing, Aunt? Hey, it's cool. <laughs> I recognize right off the bat. Good to see you, son. You heard about it all, didn't you? you I needed it. this. Uh, I definitely, definitely needed this right here. One way for the family to come together. Yes, sir, yes. <laughs> Don't you look just like How you doing? How you doing? You don't remember me? No. He's coming to your house all the time on it's Start the Street. On Start the Street. And your old, your mom. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> this paper is from the next day I after they you. found him. I want you to make a copy of that. You will get it. I promise you I will make plenty of copies of this. And you haven't seen his face in 30 since. 30. And, and, it's and your first time actually seeing his face again. Right. He changed the lives Mark did for, you know, both yeah. sides of this family. Yeah. And um, it's 30 years of... It's 30, 30 years. years of hell. Yeah, I was thinking for what it could have been like. Yeah. If you was to give him that power. Yeah, I don't hate. Yeah. I don't hate. I don't yes. want to hate. Yes, sir. But what was wrong was wrong. Yes, sir. Def I definitely agree with you on that. God Almighty says you must pay. That's right. And, you know, it was just so interesting to see those two dynamics. You have the long-lost son of this man who was killed, and then you also have his brother still possibly fostering that hate. And, and then all of a sudden this son just saying, forgive him. Don't let him have that over you. It was just so fascinating to see how this pain affected those families, Tom and Mary. And what's beautiful to see is how something good has come out of so much tragedy. This, this in effect, this family reunion. I hope that, that Mark Ace is watching this from prison, that he, that he saw this. You know, even though he insisted to me that he did not shoot Robert Lee Booker, that someone else did, yeah. he seemed to display genuine sorrow for the families of the two men who were killed, and, and as well as for his own family, the suffering that these people are going through because of what, what occurred in 1987. And as you heard there, the son, at least the son, does forgive him for doing what he did to his father. So. That's an extraordinary inspiration for all of us, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He said, don't let anyone have that hate over your heart.
Thank you, Fran. Thank you, Tom.